The Japanese government is telling some of the people who fled their homes because of the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi that it is safe now to return. It lifted an evacuation advisory affecting five municipalities. The areas are outside the 20-kilometer no-entry zone around the damaged nuclear facility. The municipalities are all in Fukushima Prefecture. They are mainly located between 20 and 30 kilometers from the plant. The government's nuclear accident task force made the decision to lift the evacuation advisory on Friday. All cabinet ministers attended the meeting. The task force noted the situation at Fukushima Daiichi has improved. It also pointed out that the five municipalities have drawn up plans to remove radioactive substances from local schools and hospitals and to restore key infrastructure. The government will do everything that it can in order to dispel concerns among residents who want to return home. And this is the first time since the crisis began at Fukushima Daiichi that the central government has lifted an evacuation-related designation. So we're uh, in uh, the building which was the crematorium and the gas chamber is over there, but the undressing room is over there. People were driven from the railroad directly into the undressing room told that they will uh, uh, take a shower and uh, uh, told to uh, keep their clothes together uh, because after the shower they will need them and uh, uh, when they walked into the uh, uh, gas chamber there were shower heads in there I was told but they were just there for uh, um, just uh, as a deception and towards the end of, if you can imagine, 2,000 people undressing in there and then being driven into here, at the very end, people started panicking. So uh, the SS uh, had the uh, prisoners push the prisoners in and they just shut the uh, gas chamber door. Do you understand? It was an intention of mass murder. Japan's national police force is tightening uh, measures to safeguard the country's nuclear power plants. It's introducing radiation-proof vehicles that will allow officers to safely counter any possible attacks by terrorists. The National Police Agency decided on the move in the belief that the Fukushima accident has increased the likelihood that nuclear facilities could be targeted. The agency says it will deploy the new vehicles at nine police headquarters around the country. They will be shielded with lead, which blocks radiation. The vehicles will protect police officers from radiation when confronting terrorists or rescuing the injured following an attack or accident at a nuclear power plant. Armed Japanese police have been deployed around the country's nuclear plants and related facilities around the clock since the 9-11 attacks in the United States in 2001. And you will see a picture over there later uh, that this part contained 15, 15 
uh, 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 crematoriums, 15 individual ovens. Japan's government ministries are expected to request a total budget of 99 trillion yen or more than 1.3 trillion dollars for the next fiscal year that begins April 1st. This will be the highest ever budget request by the government. Friday is the deadline for the ministries and agencies to submit their budgetary requests. The ministries were allowed to submit separate budget requests with no limits for recovery from the March disasters. Requests for reconstruction budgets are likely to total more than $39 billion. This includes funds requested by the Environment Ministry for rubble removal and radioactive decontamination. The ministries are expected to seek a total of $26 billion for growth fields such as new energy and for personnel training. The government will start drafting a 2012 budget after the requests are submitted, but securing the funds will be a challenge as it has set a ceiling on the cost for debt servicing at about $575 billion equal to this year's figure. And within the short time after they were dead, they uh, started to pull the bodies apart because they were intertwined, intermingled, and there was an electric elevator which brought it up from a lower level to this level up here where the crematorium is. The Japanese government had asked Chinese authorities to prevent internet hacking before a high-profile cyber attack took place in Japan recently. The websites of Japan's cabinet office and the National Personnel Authority were attacked and asked, uh, uh, access was disrupted for a period of period on September 17th and 18th. Japan's National Police Agency noticed a threatening message on China's Chinese servers prior to the incident. The post called on people to launch cyber attacks against Japan to mark the 80th anniversary of the Manchurian incident on September 18th. The incident led to Japan's occupation of Manchuria, now in northeastern China. A cabinet secretariat official said on Thursday that before cyber attacks occurred, the government had asked China through the Japanese embassy in Beijing to take precautions. After the attacks, the foreign ministry requested Chinese authorities to take preventative measures against any such recurrence. The government will hold an information security panel next week to strengthen anti-cyber attack measures. Japan's upper house has approved a bill to set up an independent, independent panel of experts to investigate the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The upper house voted unanimously on Friday to pass the bill. The 10-member panel of experts will operate independently from the government and carry out a one-year investigation to clarify the details surrounding the accident. The panel will have the authority to summon witnesses and demand submission of documents. The experts will submit an interim report to the Diet in about six months. The panel members will be selected by a joint council of lawmakers from the two chambers. The joint council will also assist the panel by exercising the Diet's right to investigate state affairs.
India's top nuclear official says his country is keen to sign an atomic energy agreement with Japan. India held an international seminar in Mumbai on Thursday to discuss the country's future atomic power generation in the wake of the nuclear accident at the Fukushima power plant in Japan. The chairman of the Indian Atomic Energy Commission told reporters India was eager to conclude a nuclear energy agreement with Japan. We always think this is needed because we consider Japan as a very important technologically advanced country, particularly in the nuclear area. However, negotiations on a treaty have stalled with Japan hesitant to sign an agreement. India has not joined the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and Japan's policy on exporting nuclear power technology has been in flux since the Fukushima accident. So this is what this modern insanity installation was created for. Do you understand? It was an intention of mass murder. Had they been winning the war, this would have expanded and continued. Japanese government is lifting an evacuation advisory later on Friday for several municipalities outside the 20-kilometer no-go zone around the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. This is the first time the central government has revoked an evacuation-related designation connected to the Fukushima accident. The five municipalities are located between 20 and 30 kilometers from the nuclear plant after the accident. Residents of the areas were advised to evacuate or remain indoors as much as possible in the event of another emergency. The government's decision comes after temperatures in all three troubled reactors at the plant below, dropped below 100 degrees Celsius. The government says the five municipalities have submitted plans to decontaminate the areas and restore key infrastructure. About 28,500 residents, almost half of the population, fled due to fears of radioactive contamination. The local governments must now try and convince them that it's safe to return. The central government will do its best to support efforts to decontaminate and dispose of radioactive waste. However, observers point out that there is not enough storage space for waste and soil contaminated with radioactive materials. Also in front of me, what seems to be like a ditch, and I was told this by uh, a survivor uh, who worked here, who is still alive, who uh, uh, said, you know, this ditch was used for dragging bodies, and we used to wet it down with water so it would be easier to drag the corpses to the next burning station.